Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today was definitely a filler episode, but they threw a whole spanner in the work at the end. Mm. Yeah, but before we get into it, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe guys. Literally, I'm like maybe 50 away from 3000 subscribers. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm going to just start with the most juiciest part and then I'm going to go from the beginning to the end. Okay, so um, of course the public were deciding on who is um, the most compatible couple and the one that was um, didn't have the most votes were going to be um, at risk of being dumped. So basically at the end it was, who was it? Sharon and what's his name? Hugo. Lucinda and Brad and Chloe and Toby and then it was revealed that whoever is picked at the bottom one only one of those people in the couples are gonna go home and they have to decide between each other so it's Brad and Lucinda ouch because don't get me wrong I feel like they do have chemistry but I don't really care respectfully I don't care so who is going home I think off rip Brad's going home because Brad has, he, he's lived his experience. And I'm sorry, they're not going home together. I've put that into the universe right now. Not, they haven't been together long enough for them to be like, oh yeah, we're gonna go with each other. She's probably gonna say like, I think, well, who was it? Was it Georgia that said it a couple seasons ago? Like, oh, I'm just gonna stay just for the experience, but that's it, I'm not gonna really be doing anything. She may say that, I don't know if she will per se, but I guess this is gonna see, this is an interesting one, I don't really care too much about them anyways but i want to i just want to see how they're going to decide on who's going home and then how that person is going to move accordingly but i prefer d i would have loved it if it was chloe and toby i would have loved 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 it if it was chloe and toby because i would love to have seen how they're going to decide i would have loved to have seen how they were going to be like oh yeah both of us are going to go home and da 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 whatever but that was an interesting twist so guys please let me know in the comment section below who you think is going home who do you think they're gonna pick between each other so yeah so going back to the beginning of the episode i'm sorry guys i still don't think faye is interested like i feel like the way she was with liam was like undeniably and the way she was with brad under undeniably but with teddy I, i'm just trying to think is it because she's been hurt so many times that she's trying to be cautious but i don't i'm just not getting it and even still like today we barely saw even teddy we barely saw any clips of them today so i'm just kind of like did the producers put them up to it i just mm, i'm just i feel like if a new guy comes in that's face type or looks like liam or brad she will be so into it but i just feel like here she's just taking her time and i don't think she's one of those girls that tends to take her time well from the history from the two times over that she's done it before she doesn't seem like that type of person but guys let me know what you're thinking on that so then in the next scene i'm sorry i'm not i'm not really feeling this whole double dating let's try be besties situation between liberty and uh jack jake why do i call him jack sorry guys jake and toby and chloe i feel like Chloe's trying to be besties with Liberty. No, go find your own bestie. Go find Lucinda or Millie to be doing all that bestie bestie stuff with. But anyways, so in that conversation, Liberty was just admitting that she has feelings for Jake and Jake was more candid with saying that he had feelings for her. Now, I completely understand why um, Liberty is cautious. She has a right to be cautious. I think she should be cautious. Um, just because Jake, I just, I just really, like I said in my previous video, I really, really wish that he didn't behave the way he did in the beginning because I would have so been rooting for them. Honestly, I would have been so rooting for them. But I do agree with Liberty that if you don't take risks, then how are you ever going to like gain anything? So I do get that. But like Paul says, it has to be calculated risk. Paul from Blue Fairy P says you have to take calculated risks. So let me put that as an asterisk on what Liberty said. And it just makes me sad that she choose to compare herself loads. Now I think loads of people, all people do it, realistically speaking, like everyone really compares themselves but i think it's the degree and how much it actually penetrates your scalp but it's like liberty is a beautiful girl and she's so funny she has great personality like if like like if i was like if i was in love i learned if I, like i would definitely be her friend like she's such an amazing person she's such a great character to have on the show so it's sad that she used to think that 
but I'm so glad that her mindset is changed, she's maturing, and she's really just feeling herself because she really is that chick, period. So Millie and, um, what's his face, Liam got a text and they're going to the hideaway. Uh, cool, I don't really care. Um, she has an amazing body, I'll give it to her, she has an amazing body. And I'm hoping that they got out some of that tension that they've been holding on to, even though Liam said it was PG. Um, I hope we'll hear less of their sexual conversation since they've been able to get something out. Then in the morning, there was another double date with Liberty and Jake and Toby and Chloe. Um, to Toby gives me like secondary school vibes in terms of like, look at the way he was trying to mash up the avocado. Why does one need two spoon? I mean, two forks to mash up avocado? Like he, he just looked like he didn't know what he was doing. Like someone go help him. Please, someone go save him because he's just looking crazily silly or dumb in this episode. Look like, I don't, I don't know. But I will give it to him or we'll give it to them. This was a better breakfast than the other one because the other one was just dry mango. Um, and when are the girls going to start cooking the guys breakfast and giving them tea? I swear we I feel like guys always do it on Love Island. I might be wrong, but from my recollection, I feel like the guys are always doing it. At least that's what, that's what airs. So let me get into Kaz's conversation with Sharon because I'm sorry, what is going on here? Sharon likes Hugo when? Why? How? Hmm? When did that start happening? Like, when? So she said that she always did find him attractive and that as like they've grown and in their friendship she, she sees a lot of qualities that he has that she would love in a boyfriend. But I'm just like, no, I feel like if it wasn't immediate, it can't grow or it won't grow because again, she said that she finds him attractive but they don't have that sexual chemistry and you need it. That's, guys, we need it. Y'all need it, everyone needs it. You need, you just need it. And I feel like maybe she's feeling lonely because um, Aaron not picking her was a huge rejection probably just because like that was him basically saying that yeah let's not even be kissing anymore let's just cut it out I don't even want to sleep in the same bed with you anymore let's just cut it out so I feel like she's feeling lonely maybe a little bit desperate and is trying to like go back because Hugo is such an amazing person like he is definitely boyfriend material I would 100% agree with that but I just don't think she likes him like that. I think she's just longing for some attention and there is none for her. Now, what she needs to remember is, because I think Sis has amnesia, maybe Kaz might have a little bit of amnesia as well. Was it not last week that uh, she and um, Faye made Hugo cry about this whole fake, fake, fake situation? So don't be confused whether he likes you or not because girl, like he says, he like leggy, blonde, not fake which was the trigger for you two last week. So why do you think he would like you? Like there's, I don't even understand why she's even trying to breed this conversation. Again, I don't know if it's the producers making this up because it's just not happening. You know like how fetch can't happen? Yeah, this ain't happening neither. It's just, he doesn't like quote unquote fake girls. So you already, you already know for certainty, you're not his type. You don't need any clarification. You don't need Cass to go speak to him on your behalf. You already know he is not your type and she is not his type that is clear as day there is no discussion needed but basically Kaz was like I'm gonna go speak to him and go feel out the water now Kaz respectfully mind your business because you know this guy does not find her attractive you know this but I guess she's just doing what a good friend would do but for me just be honest we are good sis be honest no and i think sharon is just seeing all the cute things that hugo does around the house like him making the pineapples with this with a uh, toothpicks in it and then um even like the whole date with chloe well that double date thing him even like doing being like the waiter and like leading the girls like he's such a sweet person he's so thoughtful he's so like pure and giving and just so generous um so she wants that and that's why girls need to stop saying I like bad boys and I like bad boys because realistically speaking, that's what that type of good boy is going to do for you. Like for me, I'll take a Hugo. But me personally, I'll take a Hugo. He might not be for everybody, but he would be for me. But then again, I'm not blonde, so I'm not for him. So, But I understand that. And it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. But he definitely needs some love and the producers need to put someone in for him because it's getting a bit long. It's getting a bit long. It's actually getting a bit long. So moving on. Brad and Lucinda got a date. When I honestly thought that I was like, this is about to be cardboard, this is about to be furniture, this is about to be boring. I was not wrong. Um, what was funny that was that, um, what's her face? Faye said to Brad, shut up and ask her questions. And that is a running theme with Brad. Like he just doesn't know how to shut up 
and ask questions like seem like you're interested asking questions is a way to seem that you're interested i don't know how he hasn't picked that up i think he's like 26 years old how he hasn't picked that up in his whole dating life and plus he's a liar he's a liar he said he was in a long relationship like five or eight years it was something like something long and he said this is his first day behave why does he want lucinda to be his be on end of his everything so he can share so many things with i feel like he's just I, I i don't know i feel like if it wasn't like lucinda he wouldn't be saying that like that's not your first date like even let's even forget he was in a relationship you're 26 years old that's not your first date you're a good looking guy on paper that's not your first date why are you lying like you ain't never popped a bottle of prosecco before not to wear champagne just prosecco I don't know, I feel like there's something about him that he wants to mould himself into something that he thinks Lucinda wants and I don't think it's working. And for me, if a guy said at 26 that he's never been on a date before and he's a good looking guy, for me that's a that's a warning sign, that's trouble, that is Nino, 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 that's red flags like literally because that's weird. Because trust and believe he's been enough gal cat but he ain't been on a date. What? It was funny when they were on their date and, uh, what's her face? Um, Lucinda was like, he's 10, 10 in terms of looks, but personality, like, yeah, it's good. And that she feels like he's going to be loyal. Well, let's see now. I don't know, because I don't think we're going to get a chance to see loyalty because I sh I'm thinking he's going to go home, but I don't think per se he would have. And realistically speaking, I think like when she was like oh do you think your head will turn and he asked her back and she was like no i don't think my head will turn but you never know and it's like that is her leaving that door just a little bit open just to sneak through it if they were still together during casa and more but i guess that's not going to be her problem anymore because one of them is going to go home and the other one is not going to be loyal to the other one while they're on the outside like that's just not happening they don't like each other enough well brad I don't, I don't know i don't know if they like each other enough they ha don't have a deep enough connection it's only been like three days it's not that serious i'm sure rachel's at home laughing if brad gets sent home because <laughs> it's like you had nine lives now you could have saved rachel well he couldn't have let me just leave that one he couldn't have saved rachel it's good he picked lucinda but at the end of the day um yeah this couple's about to be torn apart real quickly and the other one's gonna have to watch the other one doing bits on tv but also i feel like lucinda is proper full of it because why was she even asking where are we and she was like saying that oh yeah i hope you're not getting any mixed signals it's almost like she was dropping that they should be mixed signals and her asking where are we it's like girl you do not want to define the relationship with him you do not want to dtr so it's just like why are you asking these questions you literally got the ick like i'm sorry once you get the ick you can't remove the ick the ick is there you can't remove the ick so i don't know why she's trying so hard but again like i just said this is not going to be her problem because one of them is going home so kaz ended up having a conversation with hugo and hugo was like yeah we we, we friends we put we, we platonic he could not have said that in a more uh obvious way we're friends we've got to know each other we don't have no pressure there's no sexual chemistry we're friends i like being friends 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 platonic 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 so that's the conclusion of that it's so funny that uh hugo constantly gets put in a friend zone and now he's putting girls in a friend zone so big up hugo for that big up hugo for that but this is not surprising at all like of course they're only friends and him even saying that oh yeah i hope someone comes in for me and I hope someone comes in for sharon and da, da, da. so he's not he, he ain't checking for her uh he ain't checking for her but i think it was nice that kaz did it but I'm sure she knew before that that it wasn't going to be the case. And Loki, Kaz was annoying because she came back and she relayed the message in a flimsy, flimsy way. Girl, you should have said he sees you as friends only, friends only, platonic only, buddies only. There's nothing there. Like, she should have said it like that. But I guess it's hard to deliver back that message if Sharon's basically like, I kind of like him now, da 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 da. Like, there's no can of worms to open. There's nothing to even to open. There's actually nothing in front of her to even open. This is, this is just not gonna happen. Simple, like, just wait for a new guy to come in and cross your fingers, cross your toes that he finds you attractive because you're gonna need it to have some sort of experience um because it's not gonna be with hugo baby but yeah that's it for this episode guys i just wanted to mention that i feel like i don't feel like the bombshells are bombing this season um i guess chloe she, i'm not gonna i'll give it to chloe chloe's doing a little 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 yeah she's you know she yeah she's doing her little her little thing annoying as she is she's doing a little thing but teddy i think i saw him twice in this episode i'm not even joking uh lucinda is cardboard uh millie is i don't really care about like i need these people to come and do sh like boom boom shake shake 
like crash like i need him to do bits but i don't feel like they're doing bits so hopefully the next person that comes in the next bombshell that comes in is just gonna be doing something like i just need uh, i need that drama i need that banter i need that something i need competition i don't have any of it right now so I'm just hoping there's more more things coming through but i really just hope they prick a girl just for hugo literally a girl that's just for hugo that's not interested in getting to know anybody else that's just for hugo please because the baby needs something his love island experience has not even started at all like he's only got kisses through dates if it no not dates challenges has he has he has he oh yeah fake kissed him that one time but i think that might be it so yeah run, run him a gal please run him a gal but anyways guys thank you for watching my video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe interact with me in the comment section below and i'll see you in tomorrow's episode of love island bye